hey what's going on guys uh, let's do this problem right here the question is asking the figure shows a 2 cm diameter roller that turns at 90 revolutions per minute a 4 cm white plastic film is being wrapped onto the roller the plastic is charged it carries uniform surface charge density of 4.7 nano coulomb per centimeter square what is the current of the moving film right so this is the question so let's see how we can find this one so first uh, let's uh, list all the given information so here they have given two centimeter diameter so the radius is going to be one centimeter right radius is going to be one centimeter and this is given in revolution per minute so omega is given omega is given in revolution per minute i mean 90 revolution per minute 90 revolution per minute and they have given the width of this one so width is equal to 4 centimeter 4 centimeter also they have given the charge density so charge density is equal to 4.7 nano coulomb per centimeter square so these are the information we have and let's see what we can calculate from this one right so first of all uh, if you look at this one we can calculate the tangent general velocity using this information because we know that tangent general velocity can be calculated by v is equal to r omega so we can calculate that one first and see what we get so we have this uh, one centimeter so since everything is in centimeter let's keep centimeter as it is because uh, that will help us to cancel when we do the calculations so let's keep this one in centimeter but for this uh, revolution per minute uh, we have to convert this one into radians per second so this is going to be 90 times to convert one revolution we have to multiply this one by 2 phi right so this is going to be multiplied by 2 phi and in the bottom in one minute we have 60 seconds so this is going to be multiplied by 2 phi over 60 here if you notice we can cancel this uh, this one by 30 so this is going to be 2 this one is 3 and also I can cancel this 2 again with this 2 and that's going to give us 3 phi and if you plug this value in calculator you will get something like uh, 9.425 centimeter per second right so this is our tangent general velocity so let's see how much area moves in one second to calculate that one we simply have to multiply this 4 centimeter width so that we, that will give us uh, how much area is moving in one second so let's uh, let's write this in different color so area moves in one second one second right so that's gonna be this is uh, let's say let's say area flow rate area flow rate so that's gonna be this uh, 9.425 centimeter per second times the width that is 4 centimeter and if you multiply these two that's going to give you 37.7 centimeter square per second so now we have this information right here and then they have provided the charge density and if you notice we have centimeter square in the bottom in the charge density and here we have 10 centimeter square in the top that's kind of make give us the clue that if you multiply these two this is going to cancel right centimeter square and centimeter is going to cancel and we will get coulombs per second that's what we want because we know current is ampere ampere is equal to coulombs per second so since these two are multiply when we multiply these two that gives coulombs per second that gives an idea the current can be calculated by multiplying these two right that's that way you can make a connection so let's calculate the current right now so this is going to be I is going to be equal to uh, density charge density times area flow rate so let's say area dot flow rate so this is going to be 4.7 4 nano coulomb per centimeter per square 
yeah let's keep the nano as it is 4.7 nano coulomb per centimeter square times 37.7 centimeter square per second and here we know that this is going to cancel centimeter square centimeter square is going to cancel we are going to get the answer in nano coulombs per second and if you multiply you will get 177.79 um, let's see am I missing, making any mistake let's see 37 times uh, 4 right 28 uh, yeah this is correct 177.79 nano ampere nano coulomb per second the coulombs per second is equal to ampere so you can write this one as 177.79 nano ampere and that's going to be the final answer and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time